Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my new subscribers and my returning subscribers. I am so grateful for you all. Today we're going to work on this pretty headband. It consists of front post double crochets and some um, double V stitches. So let's go ahead and get started on making this quick and easy headband. Okay, so let's quickly have a good look at our tools. I'm going to use this Caron. It is a Category 4 yarn. It's a nice silky yarn. I'm going to put the description in the box below because for whatever reason I throw away my labels, which is quite silly. Um, I'm using a 5 millimeter hook, a pair of scissors, of course, and a yarn needle. So I'm going to make 13 chains. That was 3. This is 4, 5, six seven eight nine go ahead and pause and continue making your chain remember stop at 13 okay when you get to and make your 13 chains i have my 13 chains here remember to make them nice and loose not too loose but not too tight so that you can't get your hook inside so now i'm going to add two more chains this is my turning chain, those two chains. So instead of going into those two chains, remember the loop on your hook does not count as a stitch, as a chain. Go ahead and yarn over and go skip your first two chains, one, two, and in that third chain, make a half double crochet. So for my beginners to make your half double crochet, go ahead and yarn over, skip those two stitches, go into your stitch, yarn over and pull up your loop and that just means to grab your loop and pull it through grab your yarn and pull it through your loop you should have three loops on your hook go ahead and yarn over and pull through all three and you do that again going all the way across i'm going to make my 13 half double crochets and i'm going to when I get closer to the end okay so at the, i'm at the end of the row and i have my last half double crochet here and that is 13 half double crochets going across. That chain that you made in the beginning does not count yet. Okay. So now, instead of doing a chain, I'm making myself get into the habit of making double crochet stacks. Or some people call them single crochet stacks. And I do have a quick tutorial on how to do that. But for my beginners, I'm going to show you how to do that again. Or anyone who does not know how to do that. So normally when we get to the end of the row, we'll go ahead and chain. We're not going to do that. Finish your stitch, pull your loop up just a little bit so you can turn it nice and easy and you have room to go into that first stitch. We're going to make a single crochet stack. Again, some people call it a double crochet stack. Go into your stitch, yarn over and pull up your loop and make your single crochet. So go ahead and yarn over and pull through two. Now, when you make your single crochet, you have two loops. Come on. There is a loop in the front, and then there's a loop in the back. This is why when you want to make it, when you make your single crochet, you want to make sure that it's good and loose, not too loose, so that you can go into that back loop there. So go ahead and grab your hook. Do not yarn over. Go into that back stitch. The first one is always the hardest. Go into that back stitch there. Yarn over and pull up your loop and make another single crochet. So now you have two single crochets on top of one another and this will count as a double crochet. So then in your next stitch, you're going to make another double crochet. And just one double crochet going all the way across. You should still have 13 double crochets. So I'm at the end of the row and I'm going to go into that last stitch with a double crochet. Okay. And again, you should still have 13 half double crochets going across. We made. Now go ahead and pull up your loop again like we did before to make our single crochet stack. And go in and make your single crochet. And then go into that back loop and make another single crochet. Now we're getting to our pattern. 
So we're going to make one double crochet here. And our next stitch, because this is the back of our work, I'm going to do a back post double crochet instead of a front post double crochet for the next stitch. So go ahead and yarn over and you're going to put your loop behind in between that first and second stitch and go out between the second and third stitch. So basically in and over to the other side. Grab your yarn, pull up your loop. You should have three loops on your hook and then just make your double crochet. Continue making your double crochet. We're going to make another back post double crochet. Remember because our work is facing us the wrong way and we want all of our front post double crochets to be in the front. That's the way we have to do that. So we go into the back again and out the other side, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And if that was too fast, I do have a tutorial on how to do a front post and a back post double crochet. So now our next stitches, you're going to yarn over and just make a regular, a normal double crochet into the next stitch. Do the same thing for the next stitch. Now you're going to skip the next stitch because we're coming to the halfway point. Um, 13 divided by 2 is, is 6.5. So we have to, in that seventh stitch here, we have to make our double V stitch. So we already have one double crochet in the first stitch, which was your double crochet stack. That does count as a double crochet. Then we have two front post double crochets. Then we have two regular double crochets. Now we're going to skip the next stitch and then go right into the next stitch with a double V stitch, which is one double crochet, which is two double crochets into that same stitch. And then chain two. And then two more double crochets into that same stitch. So again, to get your double V, you make two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. Now we need to repeat on this side what we did over here. So we skip the stitch. Go ahead and skip that next double crochet. Go into your next stitch with a double crochet. And then into the next stitch with another double crochet. And then again, we're going to do another back post double crochet. So yarn over and just like we did on the other side, make your back post double crochet, which is going to be in the front when you turn your work. And then do another one, yarn over and make another back post double crochet. Now we're at that um, uh, single crochet stack. So when you look at your single crochet stack, if you turn it over, you'll see just like with a regular stitch, you have your V stitch on top. Okay, right there. Wait, let me make sure that's what I'm picking on. Nope, I'm not. Right here is where that stitch is. That is your second single crochet when you made your double crochet stack. So that's where we need to place our hook. So go ahead and yarn over. And go right back into that stitch. Again, your first try is always going to be the hardest. Oops. I need to come closer to my camera. Okay. And then go in and make your last double crochet. Okay. So that is your pattern. It is a one row repeat. Because you don't even have to make those double crochets on the end. But... Um, I do that so that when it's time to fold up your, um, you can call it an ear warmer or headband, you can fold it up and it comes together really nice with that row of double crochets there. So you can sew everything together. So again, when you come to your next row, 
This is row three that we just made. Now we're going into row four. I'm going to show you how to do that pattern one more time. Go ahead, remember, get to the end of your row. And if you don't want to do a single crochet stack, you don't have to. You can make a chain and move on from there. Just make sure you do not count that chain as a double crochet. We're counting our double crochet stack because it looks like a double crochet. So um, go ahead and pull your loop up a little bit. Turn your work. Go into that first stitch with your single crochet stack. You see, I keep bouncing back and forth, but you you get what I'm what I'm talking about. So now your stitches are in the front. Remember those back loop, those back post double crochets you made. They're right here in the front now. Now we're in the front part of our work. So once you've made your double crochet stack, you sing, go ahead and go into the first stitch with a front post double crochet. And it's just like for my beginners, it's just like you did a back post, but you're going to go into the front because you want to link up with that double crochet from the previous row. So do that again. Go in on the side, come out on the other side, yarn over and pull up your loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And that is your front post double crochet. So now go into your next two stitches with just a regular double crochet. And now skip those two stitches because you're always, when we get to the point, this point, you're always going to go into that middle section in between that double V stitch from the previous row. You're going to go ahead and make another double V stitch. That's two double crochets chain two and another two double crochets into the same stitch okay sea foam that's the name that i was thinking of of this yarn it looks so much darker but it's a it, it's called sea foam <laughs> that just popped into my head okay so now we're going to make our way over. You're going to skip those two because remember they were part of that V stitch, that double V stitch from the previous row. So skip those two stitches. Go into your next two with one double crochet. And now we're back at those front post double crochets. So again, go ahead and yarn over. Go into the side of the stitch. Come out the other side. Yarn over and pull up your loop, pull through two, and make your double crochet. So you're going to do that one more time because remember, we did it twice on this side before we got to the end. So make another front post double crochet in one side, out the other, yarn over and pull up your loop, and make your double crochet. Now we have that single crochet stack from the previous row. So again, we're going to go into the top of that stitch. And if you're not sure, you can always turn it around so you can see a little bit better. It's right there. That's where we made that double, that single crochet stack. So that's where you're going to put your hook. So go ahead and yarn over and go right into there and make your double crochet. Oops. Okay, so that is your pattern. That is your one row repeat. So you want to go ahead and keep measuring it around your head. Make as many rows as you want. And I will be back with more of my rows when I come back. But I have 27 rows here. I'm going to go and turn my work again because remember, we're only making double crochet stacks. We are not making chains. So go ahead and make your double crochet stack and now go into your next stitch which is a front post double crochet go into that stitch with a half double I mean I'm sorry with a double crochet do the same thing in the next one and then remember you have your other your next two okay so because we want to have 13 stitches just like we did in the beginning we want to have 13 double crochets across we're going to go into this next stitch which is a part of that double v stitch and make a double crochet now you're going to skip the next one and then go right into 
that middle section of your double V stitch with a double crochet. Skip the next one and then go into the next stitch with another double crochet and then keep going all the way till you get to the end. And that should give you 13 double crochets if you are following my pattern. This is 12 and that's 13. Okay. So now we have all our double crochets going across. So now we're going to go ahead and bind off. Oops. Bind off. Make sure that you chain one and go ahead and pull everything through. Now you're going to, this is the front part, because remember your front post double crochets are in the front. So you're going to turn your work. I'm sorry, keep it to the front. <laughs> keep the correct side facing you. And then you're going to bend your work. So you take your first flap and you bring that in half. And then you take your other half, your other side, and bend that in half. And open them up and bring them together like this. Okay. Make sure everything is nice and even. All your ends are even. You can you know, move it around. It's not going to hurt it. We're going to sew that in. So flip it around because you're tail ends right here so we're going to flip it around go in here and then sew all the way through that's why you want to make that tail nice and long when you cut your yarn so that you're able to weave in and out of your project here weave in and out and then key going to you get to the end you don't have to pull it really tight just enough to get it into each side make sure it remains nice and even you want to keep those ends nice and even and then bring it through and then we can loop through and bring it back through the loop so we can tighten it up and go ahead and end bind off. Now once you bind off just go ahead and flip it around and there's your hat. I forgot this other tail here. <laughs> I'm gonna pretend that's not there. When I come back to show it to you um, I will have that on it because I completely forgot about that part. But that's it right there. There is your pretty you can call it an ear warmer, you can call it a headband, but there's our pretty stitches right here, our nice double V stitches, and our front post double crochets on the side. And there she is, very pretty. I love it. 